in 2019, you joined our Clarity Coaching Program, Amanda. And I think one lesson that you've implemented, I've just like you, I think you've seen really great results with, and we were talking about this earlier, is this idea of hiring and delegating and, and partnering. Just kind of walk us through that in your business specifically. What did things look like before you kind of started to embrace that mindset? Yes. So, um, you know, I was experiencing great success, which was wonderful with consulting. Um, and at that time I was a one woman show and I started realizing that I had a lot of good opportunities that I wanted to say yes to, but I just didn't personally have the bandwidth to take on all of that work. Um, and so that was kind of the first seed that was planted in my head that, you know, I'm going to need to figure out a different solution for growing my business than just relying upon myself. The second seed that led to some changes is I also started realizing there was really critical work that I needed to do to grow my business, but it was work that I didn't really enjoy, such as developing content, such as getting my website up and running, such as, you know, getting my CRM program up and running. And, you know, Michael, you helped coach me and said, you know, Amanda, hire people to help you with this. And, and you really reframed my thinking around the return on that investment. And so the combination of those two things of really starting to feel stretched with my workload, combined with knowing there were tasks I needed to do to grow my business that I wasn't that enthusiastic about, really led me to um, enthusiastically jump in to hiring um, support and partners. Um, so I hired people to do the projects that I didn't enjoy doing on my business, um, you know, such as CRM setup and website design. And then I also have found some other partners that I bring in, um, that I subcontract, that help me um, with strategic projects. And that just frees me up to be able to say yes to the work that I really want to do. Um, but also at the same time, delivering high quality results as well. Looking back at maybe where your mindset was regarding hiring and delegating and partnering with others before you, you, you made that leap, what beliefs did you have, or what do you feel maybe held you back from starting that sooner? Is there anything that you now see in hindsight? I mean, I think the most common one, and I certainly experienced this, is a financial one. You know, am I going to make as much money if I'm now having to pay people to help me? And quite frankly, and again, Michael, you helped really change my mindset on this, which is um, the answer is you, this is the way to grow <laughs> your business. Um, it does not minimize your, your financial outcomes, quite frankly. And the only way to grow is by bringing in, you know, people who can help support you in the mission. Um, and so your concept around, you know, how much you would pay um, a contractor versus if you spent that same hour, you know, building your business with um, potential clients, just that reframing was huge for me. And it helped me really let go of the financial restriction that I was thinking about and really helped free me up to dive right in. And then now if you compare to where you are today, kind of what the business is like, uh, what changes have you seen? What kind of impact has it had both from a business perspective, but also from a, a personal lifestyle perspective for you? Yeah, well, it's definitely paid off for me. In fact, um, now there are very few projects that I do all by myself, quite frankly. But I think a couple things. One is professionally. Um, in fact, I was just on a call today with a client where I had brought in a couple partners to help me um, and to share the load and to also bring really valuable perspective. And he was just, he had such great things to say as he had shared the work we had done with him up to the CEO. And the CEO had great things to say about the work. And so it validated to me that when you bring in other people, you get a better outcome, quite frankly, than when you're by yourself. Um, and so that's one thing I've experienced. And sure enough, I've got a second project now lined up with that same client because the quality of the work, because of this small team that I brought in, um, exceeded their expectations. So professionally, it is 
really um, delighting customers. Personally, it's enabled me to, you know, not have to work at night, not have to work on the weekends, have a little bit of breathing room in the day um, versus, you know, running back and forth to client meetings and trying to squeeze in the work. Um, and it's also freeing up some time for me to think about my own business as well, in addition to my clients. Um, businesses. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, it's been, you know, it's been beneficial both personally and professionally. Definitely. I think that's, you know, uh, an area that a lot of people miss when they consider this idea of delegating or, or hiring or building a team, whether contractors or full-time people, is uh, the first thought is around the financials, right? And, you know, I'm, I'm spending money to get somebody to, to do something, you know, shouldn't I just do it myself? But one part that people also don't really think about is that when you're making that investment, again, an, an investment, not an expense, you're, you're buying back your time, right? And for all of us, You'll never hear anybody on their deathbed going, oh, I wish I had more money, right? So it's, it's always about, I wish I had more time. I wish I, I spent, you know, more time with these people, with my loved ones, did these things, challenged myself, right? Living without regrets. And so um, not only is it actually a great way to grow your business, but you actually do free up a lot more of your own time, which allows you to spend more time on the right areas of the business or more time on the personal side and, and you know, with family and, and so forth. 